I would describe my adult life as being uh, one of being involved with risk. I lost my eyesight from a hereditary eye disease known as retinitis pigmentosa. My sight went rather suddenly and quickly, uh, and, uh, and then I began the development of a national foundation to find treatments and cures for these diseases. I'd always liked sculpting and liked the idea of it. So I made a rainbow trout that um, is in a, a particularly acrobatic pose. I got, a, I got a whole fish from the fish market, kept it in the freezer, and I would work with it, haul it out of the freezer, and my wife would get upset with this fish hanging around the house. But I, that's how I kind of learned, I learned the dimensions I wanted and the sense of it. But really, it's, it's getting the, the shape in my mind. Uh, I use a lot of, of, of different models, uh, and I've always got it turning around in my head. Inside, I have an idea of what I want to get, where I want to get to. I mean, the piece that probably most uh, exemplifies that, that is perhaps my best piece, is uh, something called flukes, which uh, I'm really happy to say the Philadelphia Museum has just acquired. The original was only about four inches high out of a piece of briarwood, and I had a lot of people uh, giving me feedback. It, they would see it at a certain point in time, like that's it. Don't, don't change it. Don't move it. And I, I kept thinking that it had more I could do with it, and so I stayed with it. And fortunately, it came out very, came out well.